Bonds have had to turn their attention from burying Goldfinger to now focusing on matters on the field. The fans are waiting in great anticipation for this evening's DSTV Premiership match. The Brazilians will be presented with yet another league title after retaining their crown. It's also nervous times for their opponents, Maritzburg United, who are battling relegation. They're sitting at the very bottom of the standings and they will be desperate to get a positive result. Well, over there at the game for us, he's going to be checking in on the match and seeing how things are going to be going, celebrating, I would imagine, with all the fans, as, as a reporter that he is, as Sundowns lift their trophy. Tsepo Tobane, uh, good afternoon to you. I mean, look, we can almost expect the Yellow Nation to fill Loftus Fattersfeld as they watch their team pick up what is their sixth consecutive title. They've, they've just essentially turned this into the Mamelodi Sundowns uh, DSTV Premiership League. I mean, what are we expecting today? Afternoon, Morena. Yes, it's party time for the Masandawana, the Kabu Yellow Nation, because this is their last league match this afternoon or this evening against Marisbeck United. Of course, you said it in your intro, it's about for them, it's not only about winning, but also uh, getting those medals and also finally getting that trophy. So from their side, it's excitement. Yes, you mentioned also about a funeral service that we attended earlier about uh, Ntate Alex Shakwane. Perhaps maybe most of the speakers there, especially from the Sundown side, they said they want to win tonight to send a good uh, send-off to their former football administrator. But I would imagine Marysburg United are going to want to spoil that party, spoil uh, that tribute that Sundowns want to send to uh, Goldfinger, of course, because they themselves are essentially fighting for their survival. If, the, if they do not win this match, we can only but um, assume that if things don't go their way, in terms of the other teams that are fighting for relegation, they will probably be going down. I mean, does it look like, do they look like a team? They won their last game, but are they looking like a team that really still wants to be in the top flight? A massive morale boost win against the Stellenbosch last week, Morena. Hopefully, they will carry their momentum into this must win do or die clash. It is, a, it is a win at all costs. They have to win today or tonight to ensure that at least they have some hope of survival. A draw or a loss will completely rule them out in terms of uh, them getting at least to the playoffs. So, Marisburg United, all they need to do is to win tonight's match against a very, very strong Sundowns team, we must mention. I mean, you look at the bottom three. What we know now is that the bottom three, either one of them is either is going to go out automatically or via playoffs. You look at number 14, that is Mar Marumo Kalans, who have 29 points. You look at Chipa United, number 15, they have 29 points. And then uh, Marisburg United, who also have 29 points. So, three teams on 29 points, separated by only goal difference. If you look at the goal difference side of things, Marumo Kalans are at a positive side of things because, because they have minus five. You look, you go to Marisbeck United, we have minus 16. And then you look at uh, Chippa United, it's minus 15. So it is all to play for for Marisbeck United. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy. I must say they are going to be playing against the Sundowns that are on 69 points. would want to finish on 72 points and end their league season in style. It is all to play for. It is a difficult time task on paper. If you look at Marisbeck United, you look at the Sundowns that are going to be involved in competitions over the weekend. They want to go into that match in the Kev Champions League on a high. So it remains to be seen how Marisbeck United and coach Fatlou Davids is going to approach this match. It's a must win for them. They have to win tonight, Moret. I cannot emphasize that enough. Most definitely. Just before I let you go, Seppo, there was a bit of an issue coming from the Marisburg United camp where they were complaining about the scheduling of this fixture. If, if, if you can, just please let us know what exactly was their issue. They felt that if you look at the program tonight, this is Mamelodi Sundown's last match and it's Marisbeck's last match. And the rest of the teams will be playing their last match over the weekend. But you also have to note that the program has long been done. It's not because they did, the program was not scheduled last week. They have developed, it, it's, it's been long, uh, the program that they, we know about this, the match setups, the program. But now you look at the Marisbeck United, I think probably it's sour grapes. They should have done the business. Uh, no one predicted that they will go into their last match needing a win. They must just do the talking on the field and perhaps maybe uh, not focus uh, on, on off the field matters. Again, before I let you go, I like to do this, putting people's heads on the block. I'm going to ask you for a prediction. Where is it going tonight? Tough one, Morena. Tough one. I know initially I said my candidate to get relegated automatically is Chippa United. Mm. But um, after what happened in the last two games, 
um, is going to be tough for Marisbeck. I don't see them coming back tonight. All right. Well, that game is going to be happening a little later on tonight. And Loftus Fersfeld out there for us is going to be Sepo Tobane, as you can see him standing out there. Of course, the Yellow Nation getting ready to watch their team lift the DSTV Premiership title for only what is the sixth consecutive time. That's where we leave it from the sports desk for now, of course.